Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're looking at the New York Giants versus Philadelphia Eagles Week 3 matchup based on analytics. Uh, each week, I collect all the current 2017 NFL data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. Uh, we are two weeks into the season, so it is not the biggest sample size ever. However, there will always be little nuggets of truth in every sample of data you see. Uh, it's just a matter if those nuggets become bigger nuggets as the season goes on or become little nuggets as the season goes on. Uh, so uh, basically, it's just looking at how these teams perform up to this point and, and seeing how they grow and, and seeing you know how individual players might affect it. It's just a whole bunch of stuff. So this is a very big project, but we're basically looking, and, and this is what it boils down to. We're looking at how these teams have, have performed in the last two weeks based on data and kind of making some sort of questions and you know looking at matchups and, and seeing some potential exploitations, et cetera, based on their data. Uh, and, uh, and if you're new to this channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you're not familiar with the work that I do, if you're not familiar with the terms that I discuss, uh, just go to the description. All the sort of terms will be there and uh, in terms of charts and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so starting with this matchup, so when it comes to the basic information about these teams, so this is the NFL stat basic comparisons. It favors the Philadelphia Eagles uh, substantially, and that's just because of how poorly the Giants have played in the last two weeks. And I understand that the Giants, you know, will make excuses and the offensive line is bad and is this and that, but um, I mean, we'll, we'll just get right into it. So uh, when you look at how the defenses have played. The Giants defense has been slightly better than the Philadelphia Eagles when it comes to their total D score. And the total D score is basically uh, how well these teams are doing in terms of preventing first downs with the rush in the pass combined. And uh, when it comes to the Giants, there's just, they're slightly better. However, the Eagles, offensively speaking, in terms of the total O score, have been performing better when it comes to that particular metric, which the total O score is the offense's ability to create first downs with the pass and run compared to uh, the other team. So the Eagles have been better on offense, which shouldn't be surprising, uh, while the uh, Giants have been better on defense when it comes to first down situations. Uh, and another sort of thing to kind of look at in this particular game is when you look at turnover percentage, the Eagles have a much uh, higher turnover percentage on offense compared to the Giants. So despite the issues that the Giants have had offensively, they've not turned the football over as much as people might think. Uh, which is a good thing, especially in games like this. However, sack percentage, is, and, and even and this other thing too, sack percentage. Um, the Eagles have actually allowed more sacks per drive uh, than the Giants have up to this point. So again, despite all the sort of issues with the Giants' offensive line, which are very legit issues, uh, the Eagles and the Giants pretty much are in the same boat when it comes to uh, sack issues in terms of both these offenses. So um, that's just something to kind of monitor when we go forward. Uh, but the real areas where the Eagles just separate is when it comes to offensive scoring, uh, defensive scoring, defensive turnovers, and defensive sacks. Uh, the Giants are the worst in the NFL when it comes to the ability to score on offense. The Giants are the worst in the NFL when it comes to their defense allowing scores compared to the Eagles, who are not the best. I mean, the Eagles' defense is not the best by any means in terms of preventing scores on defense. But they're better than the worst, you know. So the Giants have been the worst in the NFL when it comes to preventing scores on defense. Uh, and then, of course, when you look at turnover situations, the Eagles have actually been able to create more turnovers on defense. They've been able to get more sacks on defense. Uh, and uh, when it comes to interceptions, they've also been able to get more interceptions. So um, for the most part, what this really means is that the Eagles have just been performing really well in, in metrics that matter, you know. Uh, big metrics that matter, like putting points on the board. They've been doing really well. Uh, preventing points. They haven't been doing very well, but they've been doing a lot better than the Giants. And this is why the Eagles are favored in this matchup because of how the Eagles have been playing in the last two weeks compared to how the Giants have been playing in the last two weeks. Uh, and then, of course, when you look at special teams uh, information, the, the Eagles are better when it comes to punt return yardage. Kick return yardage is pretty much the same between both these teams. Defensively, they're pretty much the same in terms of preventing punt return yardage. Whereas the Giants are favored when it comes to preventing kick return yardage. Uh, field goal percentage favors the Giants. Uh, the Eagles are kind of uh, below average, not really below average. They're, they're above average when it comes to field goals. It's still early though. 
but they're not exactly the best when it comes to field goal percentage. Extra point percentage is bad for both of these teams, and punting average kind of favors the Giants. So special teams wise, the Giants are slightly favored in this matchup, special teams wise, uh, but not by a ton. But overall, the, the biggest thing you need to understand is that the Eagles in the last two weeks have just been able to put points on the board, and also their defense has not really been the best in terms of preventing points on the board, but when the Giants are last in the NFL when it comes to uh, putting points on the board, and also last in the NFL when it comes to preventing points on the board, you can see where the issues are happening. You know, like you can, like the Eagles are just dominating the Giants over the last two weeks when it comes to very key metrics that matter uh, to winning football games. Uh, and then we would look at the sort of uh, other sort of matchup. So this is completion percentage. Uh, basically looking at first down, second down, third down situations in terms of the Philadelphia Eagles offense versus the Giants defense. Uh, when you look at the Giants defense has advantages when it comes to first down sec and second down situations, whereas the Eagles have advantages when it comes to third down situations. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, uh, for the most part, this is kind of uh, what these things are doing. Um, some of that third down situation, though, is is aided or helped by the first week. I mean, the, the, Eagle, the Eagles had a very good week one in terms of third down conversion rate uh, with the pass, with the completions, excuse me. Uh, so uh, some of that's favored because of that. But the bottom line is, uh, this favors the Giants defense. I think the Giants defense is favored in terms of completion percentage in this game. So that is something to kind of monitor in this game is, is how the Giants defense matches up with the Eagles offense because that is something that's going to be interesting to see how the Giants respond after the last two weeks. Uh, then when we get to the completion percentage of the Giants, uh, the Eagles defense actually has an advantage when it comes to first down situations, but the Giants have the advantage when it comes to second down situations and third down situations when it comes to completion percentage. Uh, so that pretty much overwhelmingly favors the Giants for the most part when it comes to completion percentage in those specific uh, situations, especially second down situations. Uh, then we get to rushing offense. So this is the Philadelphia Eagles rushing offense in terms of their ability to create first downs with the run compared to the New York Giants' Giants' ability against the rush to prevent first downs with the run. And uh, when you look at first down situations, it favors the Giants. When you look at second down situations, it favors the Giants. And when you look at third down situations, it favors the Eagles. I kind of think this goes to the Giants. The Giants have been pretty decent in terms of preventing first downs with the run over the last two weeks. Uh, but again, this is by no means, um, you know, amazing or anything else like that. Uh, but the, the Eagles rushing offense has just not been very good. I think the key to the offense becoming more, if the, if the Eagles offense becomes more balanced, I think that'll help everybody. It'll help Carson Wentz. It'll help everything. Uh, but so far the Eagles have just not been very efficient when it comes to creating first downs, uh, with the rush. And then when you look at the New York Giants rushing offense versus the Eagles rushing defense, uh, the, the Giants, excuse me, have advantages when it comes to first down situations and third down situations, but the Giants are by far the worst rushing offense in the NFL when it comes to second down conversion rate. Uh, so that is definitely an issue, uh, you know, to kind of, uh, to kind of look at. And the, and the Eagles are the best in terms, well, one of the best anyways, in terms of uh, preventing uh, uh, conversion rate on second down. So that's going to be an interesting matchup to kind of see as well. The Giants have not exactly been amazing when it comes to the rushing offense, but they have been a little bit better when it comes to first downs and third down situations when it comes to how the Eagles have performed. Uh, then we get to passing situations. So this is not really the whole enchilada, but this is the sort of area that I think is uh, really important to look at because passing wins football games. More often than not, if you're really good with the pass, you're going to win football games. Uh, so when you look at the Eagles passing offense versus the Giants passing defense, uh, the Eagles uh, are unfortunately not favored when it comes to first down situations or second down situations, but they are favored when it comes to third down situations. Again, a lot of that is because of that week one performance that they had, but still, um, whether it was a week one performance or not, that means that it could happen again, you know, uh, potentially. Uh, so uh, I would say that this favors pretty much the Giants defense in terms of uh, first down conversion rate in terms of the pass. So the Giants will, I mean, the Giants defense will be able to try to do what it can do, uh, you know, if you will. But um, I will say that the Eagles do, in terms of third down situations, the Eagles do have some advantages, potential advantages when it comes to that particular situation. But I do think that it's a little bit more evenly matched in terms of some other areas. And then when we get to the New York Giants offense versus the Philadelphia Eagles defense when it comes to uh, creating first downs with the pass, 
Uh, first down situations, the Eagles defense is favored significantly. The Giants do have the advantage when it comes to second down situations, but the Eagles overwhelmingly have the advantage when it comes to second down, uh, third down situations. Excuse me. Uh, but overall, this is not this is not the best matchup overall. Um, I don't. I think this is going to be an ugly football game, guys, because um, despite the fact that the Eagles have looked good and shown flashes and stuff like that, it's not been pretty football. It's been very sloppy. Uh, and the same thing goes with the Giants, who have been performing like one of the worst teams in the NFL over the last two weeks. Uh, so uh, I think this is going to be an interesting game to watch overall in terms of the matchups. Uh, but uh, overall, you know, how do I feel about this game? I'm going to give it, uh, Eagles victory. You know, based on the data, it favors the Eagles. The Eagles have proven to be able to put points on the board on offense. They've proven on defense. They're not the best defense in the world when it comes to preventing points. But they have been better than the, than the Giants in the last two weeks. And I also think that, yes, this is going to be a sloppy game. Yes, there's going to be some crazy things back and forth. But I just think that the Giants are so dysfunctional this year. You know, based on everything that we've seen happen and Eric Flowers and all that stuff, I just think it's going to continue to be what it's going to be, which is, you know, the Eagles kind of winning this game uh, because of all the dysfunction the Giants have. Uh, so I may be wrong, you know, and again, it's, it's based on two weeks worth of data, so a lot of things can change. Uh, but the bottom line is, is I just think the Eagles will win this football game because of just how much better their offense has been performing in terms of putting up points, how well their defense has been doing when it comes to putting up sacks. And that is by far the biggest uh, scare as well is, you know, uh, the Eagles have been one of the best teams in the NFL in terms of uh, creating sacks, and now they're going up against a team in the Giants who have consistently, week in and week out, have had incredibly bad issues in terms of uh, preventing sacks. Uh, so that's definitely a big matchup to see and watch in this game. Uh, of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.